Unit 2 Different Modes of Living 1. Factors Influencing Climate Hello dudes! The earth is surrounded by a layer of gases called the atmosphere. The atmosphere is very important to life on earth and does many things to help protect life and help life to survive. Weather is considered to be the atmospheric conditions that are happening now or within a few days. On the other hand, Climate represents the long-term atmospheric patterns within which weather occurs. Climate zones are areas with distinct climates which occur in east-west direction around the earth and can be classified using different climatic parameters. Climate zones are belt-shaped and circular around the poles. In some areas, climate zones can be interrupted by mountains or oceans. In this lesson, you will learn about factors influencing climate. Unit 2 Different Modes of Living People in different parts of the world live in different styles. In this unit, we learn about the different ways of life of the people which are mainly due to the differences in climatic conditions. We also learn the factors which are influencing this climate. We also learn about the land of dense forest called Zer, which represents the climate of the equatorial region. We learn about the region which is always covered by ice and snow. Greenland is the country in that region and we learn about it. We also learn about desert regions. The land is dry mainly due to climatic conditions. We learn about Saudi Arabia, one of the desert regions in this unit. There are certain lands which are known as grasslands because grass grows very extensively there. We learn about the prairies, the grasslands of USA in this unit. We also learn about the monsoon and the Mediterranean regions in this unit. One, factors influencing climate First of all, let's know about the different factors that influence the climate of a place. Atmosphere Earth, our mother, is the only planet that supports the life. It is the planet which has atmosphere. There are certain layers of various gases over and above the earth. They surround the earth's surface. This is called atmosphere. Weather and climate. The atmospheric conditions keep on changing from time to time. The changing atmospheric conditions are called weather. It corresponds to a very limited period. On the contrary, climate is the average weather condition of a larger area on the Earth's surface for a longer period of time. Climate is not same everywhere. It varies from time to time and from place to place. In a country, some places are cold and some places are very hot throughout the year. The various climatic conditions are caused by various factors. The most important factor of climate is temperature. Temperature also varies from time to time. The temperature is pleasant early in the morning 
rises by noon and it falls by evening, thereby making the weather pleasant. This variation in temperature is due to the rays of the sun. The rays of the sun fall slantingly and spread over a larger area in the morning and evening. So, the temperature is low in the morning and evening. The sun reaches over our head in the afternoon and the sun rays fall vertically on the earth and spread a smaller area. So, the temperature is very high at noon time. Influencing factors The climate of a place is influenced by several factors. They are A. A distance from the equator B. Height above the sea level C. Distance from the sea D. Direction of winds E. Humidity and F. Rainfall a. Distance from the equator Climate is influenced by the distance of the place from the equator. Places near the equator experience hot climate because sun rays fall vertically near the equator and spread over small area in this region. In the places which are away from the equator, the sun rays fall in a slanting way and spread over a very larger area. So, the temperature is low in such areas. The areas which are close to the poles experience very cold climate as they are away from the equator. Climatic Zones for our convenience, the world is divided into three climatic zones. They are A. Torrid or hot zone, B. Temperate zone and C. Frigid zone or cold zone or polar zone. Torrid zone or hot zone is that which is between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Torrid zone or hot zone is that which is between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. The temperature is very high here because it is near to the equator where the sun rays fall vertically. The area between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle is the Northern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere is called as the Temperate Zone. Here, the sun rays fall slantingly. So, these areas experience neither hot climate nor cold climate. The area between Arctic Circle and North Pole and the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole is called the Frigid Zone or Cold Zone. This zone is very cold because the intensity of sun rays is considerably very low. So, the climate of a place is determined by the distance from the equator. Height above the sea level The climate is influenced by the height of a place above the sea level. The distance of some places may be the same, but their climate may be different because they are located at different heights from the sea level. For example, Chennai, Mangaluru and Bengaluru are at the same distance from the equator. 
while Chennai and Mangaluru are located at the sea level. Bengaluru is at a height of 550 meters above the sea level. Hence, the climate of Bengaluru is cooler than the climate of Chennai or Mangaluru. Places situated at higher altitudes or on hills and mountains are cool in summer. So, the places like Shimla, Srinagar, Kodaikanal, Darjeeling and Uti are cool in summer also. These places have become popular as hill stations and summer resorts. C. Distance from the sea Another factor influencing climate is distance from the sea. The places close to the sea enjoy a moderate climate because of the sea breezes. These sea breezes lessen the temperature of those places. In such places, the temperature is neither very hot nor very cool. In our country, Chennai, Kolkata, Vishakapatnam and Mumbai are the coastal cities. They have a moderate climate. But the places like Delhi, Amritsar, Patna, Jaipur and Hyderabad are away from sea. So, they experience very hot summers and very cool winters. D. Direction of winds The direction of winds also influences the climate of a place. When the winds are hot, the place becomes very hot and when the winds are cold, the place becomes cool. The temperature is lowered by the cool winds coming from the polar regions or poles and the temperature is increased by the winds coming from the torrid zone. E. Humidity The next factor that influences climate is humidity. The water vapor or moisture present in the air is called humidity. Places that are near to the sea experience a lot of humidity than those away from it. Thus, the winds coming from the sea make the weather humid. On the other hand, the winds coming from dry areas reduce the humidity of air. F. Rainfall Another factor that influences climate is the amount of rainfall a place receives. In our country, both the temperature and rainfall are high in summer and low in winter. Thus, we can say that the climate of India is hot and wet in summer and cold and dry in winter. In other words, in India, the temperature is very high in summer and the country receives most of the rainfall in this season whereas in winter the temperature is very low and the rains are also scanty. The lives of the people are mainly influenced by climate. Not only their food habits, dress, costumes and traditions but also vegetation, crops, housing and occupation are also influenced by the climate. As the climate varies from place to place, the life of the people also varies. Let's revise the important points. 1. The different gases that surround the Earth's surface over and above is called atmosphere. 2. The changing atmospheric conditions 
are called the weather. Climate is the average weather condition of a larger area on the Earth's surface for a longer period of time. 3. The factors influencing climate are a. Distance from the equator b. Height above the sea level c. Distance from the sea d. Direction of winds e. Humidity and f. Rainfall 4. For our convenience, the world is divided into three climatic zones. 5. As the climate varies from place to place, the lifestyles of the people also vary.